Welcome to Violin Adventures number 113. We start right off with the world's smallest sawmill. Now I sped this up eight times the speed, so it looks really easy. <laughs> bandsaw. I would say that was exciting but very exhausting to use the sawmill. So I'm going to see if we got it down small enough that it will fit in our bandsaw for now. Okay, we got those boards all uh, waxed on the end so they don't crack. Here's just some of the beautiful boards, and I think we got one pillar out of this one. Okay, they're going outside now. Oh yes, Freddie's been out and about. Freddie loves to talk to you guys, and he's very excited that you guys like to see him. So, here he is. Into all these boards. Wow, 
That was so fun. Bye. I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, now we get back into the shop and working on the new violin. Okay, we better get these clamps off of here. Repairing the viola. Here's a little crack on this viola that is dark. I'm not sure if you can see that. And so we want to clean it out and get it all clean before we glue it. See if we can make it as invisible as possible. Okay, so what's happening here is what look, looked like dirt was really a, one was coloring it with either varnish or a pen or something. And so, couldn't get it all the way out, but that's okay. And here's Freddie again. Hi, you guys. Uh, this is Freddie again. See, I'm I'm working in the violin shop because I'm a violin maker. And see, see this. This is a viola. A uh, viola is bigger than a violin. And I'm going to work on this this viola because uh, Miss Cheryl said that. It would be a good job for me. So I'm going to glue this top with hide glue because we use hide glue in the violin shop. And then I, I'm going to take that face bar out because it's a bad one. Okay, you guys. I'll see you later. I hope you have a good day. Bye. Cutting out the top of the new violin. Okay, over here at the new violin table, we've got our top level, so it's ready to be cut out on the bandsaw. And uh, these are the sides. I need to take the sides down level with the top, so that still needs to be done. And then our scroll, it's good to set it down and not look at it for a little bit and then come back and I see that we've got a little problem on the scroll. It looks a little bit German, so I need to get some more shape on the side, on the top and the bottom to give this more of a Italian look, okay? So that's where we are on our violins. So at this point, I'm going to take down the sides and get them level to fit on our top. Every piece needs to fit the next piece. taking these clamps off and the next thing I want to do is take out that base bar so it's got tone it's a good one to work on and we'll get this base bar out and get a new one in so 
So I'm going to take the, um, clean this up a bit and take off all this varnish that has dripped on the inside and get started on a new base bar. Okay, I've got some base bars that I've, base bar wood that I've already split for other instruments. And so, I'm gonna find one that does well for this one. These are too short. We have this one to end here. And, wow, that will just barely make it. Is this? Okay, we're gonna cut this piece of wood and see if it will work for this viola. It's a good sounding piece. Well, remember our label said that this was made by Antonio Stradivarius. But if you look, besides that it's, the violin is too new, the graduations are uh, not Italian graduations. So, we're going to make this more true to the Strad uh, violins by correcting the graduation. It, well, I may have gotten ahead of myself here. I think I better close up this seam crack um, before I keep going because uh, I can't really listen to the tone when we have buzzing from the open seam. So I'm going to go ahead and clean out this crack and glue it up. Okay, our glue is hot, ready to repair this crack. to trace out our top so that it fits perfectly with the rest of the violin. And this is the, one of the things, there's a lot of things that make a manufactured violin or a very cheap violin different from a handmade violin and this is one of them that we make each piece fit to the next piece. start on that right now.
Okay, uh, the, the side just cracked on my scroll. So I cannot use this scroll. I do not want to glue it. Um, so I'm going to start over on a new scroll. This is uh, probably the second time um, I've made about 70 instruments, somewhere around 70. And uh, this would be the second time where the um, side cracked out. And when things like that happen, I'm not unhappy because there's a reason for what happens. And in this situation, I've been struggling with the looks of this thing. So I think I need to, this is just confirmation, start another one. So we're going to go to the wood room and find another piece of wood that might match nicely with our back and start a new scroll. Okay, I have some wood here that's already square, not totally square, but I don't need to add wood to them. So I'm going to try to match this, and it looks like right off that this might be the one. Okay, I am cutting out a new piece of wood, and I actually am really happy about this. Um, I just wasn't happy with my old scroll and I was gonna make it work, but now I don't need to. <laughs> so this is exciting. Um, I just look at it as God's intervention. Okay, now I got this piece of wood squared off. It was square when they originally cut it, but of course, through the years it warps and this was, you know, shaped like a C and and uh, it just wasn't square. So now it's all square. Okay, we're gonna get this new scroll cut out. Another repair. Oh, nice, beautiful calendar. Nice scenery. Okay. Some goodie bags. And here is our precious cargo. Okay, here's a nice old violin that we'll play and see what it sounds like and just see what we can find out about this instrument. Okay, right off the bat, I can see the bridge is pretty old, but this is his favorite violin maker, so we will preserve that bridge. Okay, this is a violin. It's quite a nice looking violin. About 1910, I would agree with that date. Here's the back, nice and handsome. And we'll give this a play and see what we can hear. So if you, 
and also when the temperature is changing, which right now we're having a lot of fluctuation in humidity and temperature changes. And when that happens too, the strings are, are stretching and releasing and stretching and releasing with the humidity and that can cause them to pop. So don't be alarmed if your string pops when you're not around. That's just part of an instrument that is living um, and fluctuating with the temperature. Just, um, and it also will happen if your strings are old too and they need to have, be changed. It's good to keep them changed every about six months if you're playing all the time. It's good to keep your, your strings changed. Kitov has decha mechaim sepatai yeshav hu necha. You could say this here: "Good is your loving kindness," but then it says, "Is better than life." So we say, "Because, because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you." If you know where this is found, please put it in the comments below and thank you for sending in this chapter. Well, it's Friday afternoon and it's just a little bit misty out, but it's not real cold yet. It's probably in the 60s. Well, let's go inside and see what's going on. Not sure if I showed you these. Here's our three of the logs that we've cut up and we still have this big guy and that one there but we're learning a lot how to do this so it's exciting well here we are inside there's the world's smallest sawmill <laughs> and then here on our first table is our new violin we've got the the top cut out now uh, the back is done and here's our scroll we'll have to get busy on over here is our viola table and as you can see here's the top after I closed up the two open cracks I found there was still a buzz so that's drying <laughs> and hopefully we can proceed when that gets fixed and here's our new bass bar ready to get fitted and here's the violin that we hope to get started on next week Thank you all so much for watching, for your wonderful comments, and for your thumbs up. And thank you to the new subscribers. Thank you to everyone. And until next time, God bless you. Bye.